Question 1. What is performance testing? Answer. Performance testing is performed to determine response time of the some components of the system perform under a particular workload. It is generally measured in terms of response time for the user activity. It is designed to test the overall performance of the system at high load and stress condition. It identifies the drawback of the architectural design which helps to tune the application. It includes the following. Increasing number of users interacting with the system. Determine the response time. Repeating the load consistently. Monitoring the system components under controlled load. Providing robust analysis and reporting engines. Question 2. What is concurrent user hits in load testing? Answer. When the multiple users, without any time difference, hits on a same event of the application under the load test is called a concurrent user hit. The concurrency point is added so that multiple virtual user can work on a single event of the application. By adding concurrency point, the virtual users will wait for the other virtual users which are running the scripts. If they reach early, when all the users reach to the concurrency point, only then they start hitting the request. Question 3. What is the life cycle of testing? Answer. Planning the test. Developing the test. Execution of the test. Analysis of results. Question 4. List out some common performance bottleneck. Answer. Some common performance bottlenecks include, CPU utilization, memory utilization, networking utilization, S limitation, disk usage. Question 5. What drawbacks do manual load tests have? Answer. The manual load testing drawbacks are, it is very expensive to do manual testing, as real users charge by the hour. With manual load testing, load testing for longer duration like for 7 days won't be possible, as users really work a maximum of 8 hours daily. You will not get accuracy for results correlation as there are delays between actions of users. It is hard to do results collection as the results capture each other. It is hard to do. Question 6. What is the difference between baseline and benchmark testing? Answer. The differences between baseline and benchmark testing are, baseline testing is the process of running a set of tests to capture performance information. This information can be used as a point of reference when in future changes are made to the application whereas benchmarking is the process of comparing your system performance against an industry standard that is given by some other organization. Question 7. What is the difference between performance testing and performance engineering? Answer. Performance testing. In performance testing, testing cycle includes requirement gathering, scripting, execution, result sharing and report generation. Performance engineering. Performance engineering is a step ahead of performance testing where after execution, results are analyzed with the aim to find the performance bottlenecks and the solution is provided to resolve the identified issues. Question 8. What are the automated performance testing phases? Answer. The phases involved in automated performance testing are planning, design. This is the primary phase where team will be gathering the requirements of the performance testing. Requirements can be business, technical, system and team requirements. Built. This phase consists of automating the requirements collected during the design phase. Execution. It is done in multiple phases. It consists of various types of testing like baseline, benchmark marking testing analyzing and tuning during the performance testing we will be capturing all the details related to the system like response time and system resources for identifying the major bottlenecks of the system after the bottlenecks are identified we have to tune the system to improve the overall performance Question 9. What is distributed load testing? Answer. Distributed load testing. In this we test the application for a number of users accessing the application at a same time. In distributed load testing test cases are executed to determine the application behavior. Now application behavior is monitored, recorded and analyzed when multiple users concurrently use the system. Distributed load testing is the process using which multiple systems can be used for simulating load of large number of users users. The reason for doing the distributed load testing is that to overcome the limitation single system to generate large number of threads.
Question 10. What is profiling? Answer. Profiling is a process of pinpointing a bottleneck performance at minute levels. This is done by performance teams for engineering which includes developers or performance testers. You can profile in any application layer getting tested. If you need to do application profiling you might need to use tools for performance profiling of application servers. When profiling an application server, you identify issues at the level of code such as memory intensive API if the database is what you are profiling using the tools for database profiling, you can identify a number of things such as a full table scan query, high cost queries and the number of executed SQLs. Question 11. List down any challenge you faced in your performance career and how did you overcome it? Answer. Yes, I faced many challenges like defining the scope of application, breakpoints which I overcame by studying the historical data of application and based on them I decided the values, setting up the performance environment including proxy bypassing, connecting to server under test. Question 12. What is IP spoofing and why is it used? Answer. IP spoofing is used to spoof the system so that each host machine can use many different IPs to create hypothetical environment where system believes that requests are coming from different locations. Question 13. How do you identify which protocol to use for any application? Answer. Previously performance tester had to depend much on the development team to know about the protocol that application is using to interact with the server. Sometimes, it also used to be speculative. However, Loadrunner provides a great help in form of protocol advisor from version 9.5 onwards. Protocol advisor detects the protocols that application uses and suggests us the possible protocols in which script can be created to simulate the real user. Question 14. How do you do the analysis of the system for identifying issues? Answer. We can study the various graphs generated by the tool such as response time, throughput graph, running v users graph etc and also we can see the server logs to identify the issues in system. Question 15. What is performance engineering? How it's different from performance testing? Answer. Performance testing is the process where we identify the issues in the system. Performance engineering is the process where we address the issues and rectify them. Question 16. How do you find out the performance bottlenecks? Answer. Performance bottlenecks can be identified by using different counters such as response time, throughput, hits, sec, network delay graph. We can analyze them and tell where the suspected performance bottleneck is. Question 17. What is think time? Answer. Think time can be defined as the real-time wait between two consecutive transactions. For example, a real-time user waits to evaluate the data he received before performing the next step. That wait time he takes can be stated as think time. Question 18. Can you tell a scenario where throughput is increasing with response time means when they are directly proportional? Answer. Yes, it can be possible when you have lots of CSS cascading style sheet in your application which takes a lot of time to display. We can expect this type of situation where throughput will be increasing as well as the response time. Question 19. What is a protocol and how many you have worked on? Answer. A protocol is a set of rules for information communication between two or more systems. There are many protocols such as HTTP, HTTPs, FTP, web services, Citrix. Mostly used protocols are HTTP, HTTPs and web services. Question 20. What is performance tuning? Answer. To improve the system performance we follow a mechanism, known as performance tuning. To improve the system's performance there are two types of tuning performed. Hardware tuning, optimizing, adding or replacing the hardware components of the system and changes in the infrastructure level to improve the system's performance is called hardware tuning. Software tuning, identifying the software level bottlenecks by profiling the code, database etc fine-tuning or modifying the software to fix the bottlenecks is called software tuning.